Hi everybody. First of all, I am taking you to listen a demonstration. Look at the picture. Here there is an umbrella, a bag and a boy. What the umbrella says is, my price is 150 rupees more than your price to the bag. What the bag said that is, the total of one piece is 500 rupees. Upon looking this, the boy get confused about what is the price of the bag and that of the umbrella. I think all of you confused on the conversation between umbrella and the bag. Like the boy get confused. Let's solve the confusion through this chapter 3 named as unchanging relations. Let's take a very simple example. When we look into the perimeter and area of a square, it changes with the change in the measurement of the sides. But the perimeter of any square is always 4 times the length of the sides. Look at the picture. Perimeter is equal to 4 into length of sides. That is given as P is equal to 4S. S represents length of the sides and P represents the perimeter. From this example, we can understand that even though the measure changes, certain relation between them does not change. Now, let's study the operations on numbers. The numbers are used to count, measure and label. The terms length, weight, time etc. can be measured directly. But the terms area, density, volume etc. cannot be measured directly. For that, we need operations on numbers. For example, to find the perimeter of a rectangle, measure two different sides and double their sum. If we take any natural number and add the next natural number or if we double the first number and add 1, we get the same number as the result. For example, 5 plus 6 is equal to 5 plus 5 plus 1. Also, 5 plus 5 is equal to 2 into 5. Therefore, we can say that 5 plus 6 is equal to 2 into 5 plus 1 which is equal to 11. If we use fraction instead of natural number, we can find that the above property is right. If we add to any number 1 more than itself or if we double the number and add 1 to it, we get the same number as the result. Let us take x for a number, add 1 to it, that is x plus 1. These two are then added, that is x plus x plus 1 which is equal to 2x plus 1. Similarly, 1 added to 2 times of x, that is written as 1 plus 2x. From this, we can understand that the property which is true for numbers is true for letters also. The mathematical shorthand of writing number related facts using letters is called algebra. To one number, we added another number. From the sum, we subtracted the added number, we got first number back. For example, x plus y minus y which is equal to x for all x and y. Suppose we have to add three numbers. It can be done in many ways. I am going to explain some methods. To find 7 plus 9 plus 3. Let us see first method. Add 3 to the sum of 7 and 9. That is 7 plus 9 plus 3 which is equal to 7 plus 9 plus 3. Now, let us see the second method. First add 9 and 3. Then add 7 to this sum. That is 7 plus 9 plus 3. Which is written as 7 plus 9 plus 3. Now, let's move on to the third method. First find the sum of 7 and 3. To its sum add 9. That is 7 plus 9 plus 3. Which is equal to 7 plus 3 plus 9. Each of these methods is easier depending on the numbers. The general principle of adding 3 numbers is written using algebra. x plus y plus z which is equal to x into y plus z for all numbers x, y, z. We can add the numbers in any order. Sometimes we need to subtract from one number two numbers one after another. Instead of subtracting from one number, two numbers one after another, we need only subtract the sum of these two numbers. That is 
x minus y minus z which is equal to x minus y plus z or we can write this as x plus y minus z which is equal to x plus y minus z now let's do an example 135 minus 73 minus 27 remember 135 minus 73 within bracket instead of doing like this we can subtract the sum of 73 and 27 from 135 which will give the same result let us see how it become that is 135 minus 73 plus 27 the answer is 135 minus 100 which is equal to 35 similarly instead of subtracting a number from the first number and then adding a third number find the difference of second and the third numbers and subtract it from the first number that is x minus y plus z which is equal to x minus y minus z now let's do an example for more understanding Take a look on the example 135 minus 73 plus 23 Instead of subtracting 73 from 135 and then adding 23 to their difference Find difference of 73 and 23 and then subtract the difference from 135 That is 135 minus 73 minus 23 The next step will be 135 minus 50 so the final answer will be 85 if the sum and difference of any two numbers are given can you tell the numbers for that add the sum and the difference half of it is the first number subtracting the difference from it gives the second number that is let x y be two numbers their sum is equal to x plus y and difference is equal to x minus y we know that x plus y minus y which is equal to x now on the next step we can write this as x plus y minus y plus x which is equal to x plus x which is equal to 2x subtracting y and adding x is the same as adding x and then subtracting y so x plus y plus x minus y which is equal to 2x where x greater than y that is adding the sum and difference of two numbers gives twice the larger number now let's see the result when the difference of two numbers is subtracted from their sum x plus y minus x minus y which is equal to x plus y minus x plus y the next step is x plus y minus x plus y which is equal to x minus x plus y plus y so the final step will be y plus y answer is 2y that is subtracting the difference of two numbers from their sum gives twice the smaller number let's do a small problem the sum and difference of a pair of numbers are given the sum is 12 and difference is 8 add the two numbers that is 12 plus 8 is equal to 20 half of the sum is the first number that is 20 divided by 2 is equal to 10 so 10 is the first number subtract the difference from the first number that is 10 minus 8 is equal to 2 so two numbers are 10 and 2 now let us see about addition and multiplication multiplying two numbers by a number separately and adding give the same result as multiplying the sum by the number x z plus y z is equal to x plus y into z now what if it is subtraction multiplying two numbers by a number separately and subtracting give the same result as multiplying their difference by the number that is x z minus y z which is equal to x minus y now let's try a problem 63 into 12 plus 37 into 12 solution is that add 
63 and 37 and then multiply 12 with the sum. So the solution is 63 plus 37 into 12. The answer is 100 into 12 which is equal to 1200. I think all of your confusion is solved, right? Okay, good. Keep the study well. We will meet again with another video. Best wishes.